Brisbane surgeons have created medical history by using a robot to perform brain surgery. Faster and safer than human hands, Rosa the robot is giving new hope to people with epilepsy. You are watching Australian Medical History. At the Mater, for the first time in Australia, a robot is used to perform brain surgery. The surgeon still has a hand in proceedings, but it's the robot that controls that hand, guiding it as it drills and places electrodes in the brain with unprecedented precision. We can proceed with the surgery quicker and safer. So we inserted 13 electrodes deep within the brain today in just under two hours, whereas in the past that will take four or so hours. While Rosa the robot is an Australian first, for patient Dean Parkin, this is his last throw of the dice. Epilepsy has stolen his life. He's been unable to work. He's been unable to stay in employment. He's been unable to go out and socialise. This is the Martyrs' fabulous four, part of a medical team now doing things for Queenslanders never done before. First time in Queensland that we... Um, that patients with refractory epilepsy can undergo this procedure called stereo EEG. At the centre of it all, Rosa came all the way from France in a big wooden crate. Rosa sure is one out of the box. This is a graphic illustration of what Rosa the robot can do. It actually takes a scan of the patient's face. This is what Dean Parkin, the patient, looks like. And these coloured lines here, will they represent the 13 electrodes that the surgeons today have inserted into Dean's brain. Rosa didn't come cheap, more than a million dollars, but if Dean Parkin and others like him can get their lives back, Rosa will look like a bargain. So, so it's possible this gentleman could be cured? That's what we're hoping for. That's what we look to offer. For Wilmington, Nine News.